Hey everybody, it's Lori with Pizzazz Studios. Thanks for joining me. So I've had a lot of interest in um, some recent projects I've been doing. I've been doing these for a while, but I, I actually am just putting them out to YouTube. The last one I did was a five by seven painting um, that I had embellished. And actually one of them I have here all framed um, that I showed in that video as well. I actually worked on a different one, but this is one that I actually have completed and framed and all ready to go. So it's my painting, five by seven painting, framed with embellishments, butterflies and some words. And this one says, bloom where you're planted. So that's one that I recently completed. I'm hoping you can see that. I got some things on my table here. Hoping you can see that it came out absolutely gorgeous. I love this and it is for sale if you want to visit the website. Um, you can go there. I do customize as well if you're interested in certain colors, certain sayings. I can help you out with that as well. So I've had a lot of interest in them and I thought um, I would do another one. So my last one showed you how I did a um, painting on a canvas and today I'm doing a tile. So today um, I'm taking one of my flower tiles. So it's a tile that I painted. I have a flower on it and um, I'm going to resin it after it's completed, but right now it's dry. The colors once I resin it are really gonna um, be a lot more defined and brighter. So it's gonna be really pretty and all this gold and copper shimmer is really gonna just look amazing under there. So I wanted to show you what I was gonna do today. So as before, I had printed out some, well, as before, I'm meaning in my other video that I will reference for you with the number and everything. So you know where to go look if you want to see that one. But I showed you, <clears throat> excuse me, I showed you how I um, had used some decals and I embellished my paintings with decals and things like that. That's just one way I do it, but I wanted to show you. So this here is a bee that I made. I'm gonna go ahead and finish cutting him out. He's all cut out for the most part. He just needs a little bit of trimming around the edge. I trim these so that the clear part, the decal part, doesn't show it quite as much on the painting. You really don't see it very much because it is clear. But I'm a little bit of a, a perfectionist. I, I love my my clients to have exactly um, what they want and I like them to have things that are like a more finished look to them. So I make, try to make everything look as nice as I possibly can. I like to add my own touch to things. Uh, that's what an artist is. I mean, you find what you like to do and um, you do it your way. And the point isn't to copy someone else, but but the point is to find what you like to do, make it your own. And so this is what I do. I embellish my paintings, I embellish my pores and everything. Not all of them, of course, but an awful lot of them. So right now I'm um, cutting out a bigger bee here that I have here. So I have a small one and a larger one. I started cutting it off the side. Um, my apologies, I was out of camera range. I got busy talking <laughs> I forgot to be under uh, the camera here. So my apologies. So I'm just cutting this out and cutting around the, the, um, the bee as close as I, not as close as you can. You don't want to cut any of the bee picture off by mistake, but you want to try to get pretty close. You don't have to be exact. That's for sure. But this is how I do it because um, like I said, I like to, to take as much of that off as I can. So basically decals are clear with a white paper backing. These are water slide decals that I create and um, you just soak them in water for a few seconds. You slide, the decal comes right off the paper. There's two layers here. I'll show you, we'll do it together. And um, it's really, really pretty easy. If you have any questions or anything I forgot to mention, please leave it down in the comment section. I will get back to you if I can help you. If I know the answers, more than happy to help you if I can. I appreciate you watching and being here with me. 
Um, so if you're new to my channel, I do do fluid art and um, embellishing. I make jewelry. I do all sorts of things. So I'm going to have a lot of fun videos coming up and showing you all sorts of neat things that I enjoy doing. And maybe they will inspire you. That's my goal. All right, so please subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I'd appreciate that. It does help me out an awful lot on YouTube. And if you like the video, please hit the thumbs up button too. And the that's the like button. And if you subscribe, and uh, please hit the bell notification button so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. So this is the tile I'm going to do. I think I've decided at this point, I'm going to put a, a B sort of in the center and a larger one off here to the side or to the top right, I should say. And um, they're all cut out, ready to go. So let me do this one first, I guess. It doesn't matter which one you do a first, of course. So I'm just gonna go with this little guy. So basically all you need are your decals. I have just a little bit of water in a plastic cup here. Um, a pair of tweezers is very helpful and um, a paper towel. And that would be about it. So you take your decal, I usually hold it with tweezers. It's much easier to work with than using your fingers, I find, but. So just soak it in the water. All depends on what decals you use, but these particular ones I soak for, I don't know, it's like eight seconds, something like that. Shake off any excess water you might have. And then um, what I also do, I take just a little dab of it, of water, and put it down on the tile. Not much, just very little. And then I slide, this decal comes off the paper. As you can start to see, they start to separate. And you have two layers here. So take the decal very gently. They're very, very delicate. You can throw the paper away, set it aside. Um, place your decal wherever you'd like. Try to keep it straight. They do tend to fold a bit because they are delicate. You wanna be careful with that. All right, so you just place them down where you wanna make sure it's nice and even. Take a paper towel and blot it up so that you get all that excess water off. And there you have it. So there's that little guy. I'll give you a close up too when we're finished here. I enjoy doing these very much. I make so many different kinds of um, embellished paintings, mixed media kind of things. I'm doing the larger bee now. I'm just soaking them in the water here. About eight seconds or so. Shake off the excess. I'm just gonna put a little bit up here where I kinda wanna place him. And then slide him off the paper. You gotta be really careful with these. They're a little tricky. It takes a little, a little getting used to for sure. They're extremely thin like thin, thin, like tissue paper, thin, like maybe even thinner than tissue paper. And then take your decal, place it down wherever you'd like it to go. I think he looks pretty cute right there. Okay, um, take your paper towel and blot. And there we go. So that's that. I think this one's... Um, I think this one's complete. I think I'm done with this one. So let me show you a close up here. If I can get my phone to zoom on the no, if not, I'll do it at the end of the video for you. Let's see. So here we go. Now this is well cured. It's been um, painted on quite a while ago. So there we go, and I got, uh, let's see, a little bee there in the center. This little guy up here. Looks cute, right, see? Now the thing with these decals too, since they're clear, and you can see the middle one here, the little one in the middle. Um, you can see him, but obviously he doesn't stand out quite as much as the other one on the white background. 
the colors in them. So that's something to be mindful of. <clears throat> Pardon me. Allergy season here in New England is in full bloom. Funny, we're working on flowers. <laughs> and I'm talking about full bloom. All right, that looks good. Now, I actually do have another one here I'm going to do. These two sort of go together, so I'm going to do them together for you. And I'll show you two. So we'll just set that aside. We want that to completely dry, of course. I'd give it 24 hours, roughly, um, to dry. I usually wait a day. All right, so now this one. This is another flower. I painted, I'm gonna put a butterfly on this one. I love butterflies. So I'm gonna put this guy, let's see, let me just turn it around so I can see. Um, I'll put it up here. So what I'm gonna do, I'll take this, we're just gonna cut him out. Now I print these decals, I make these decals myself. I'm gonna cut this out pretty close, as close as possible. You can use those little small scissors too. It, it may work better for you. I happen to have these here in my studio, so these are the ones I'm using today. These work fine though. You just gotta be careful with them. You don't wanna cut too far into your, you know, into your picture or anything. You just gotta be careful with that. Any suggestions for videos that you guys would like to see? I'd love to hear from you. Let me know in the comments section anything uh, you're interested in me doing or if anything you want to see how I do or whatever. I'll let you know. Let me know rather and then uh, I'll read your comments and get back to you. I'm almost done here cutting this guy out. I would have cut them out before the video started, but I wanted to show you exactly what you need to do. Therefore, I'm doing it on camera. Non-manicured hands and all. <laughs> yep. Time to do something about these. Nails of mine. Maybe by the time I do another video, I'll have them all done up pretty for you. <laughs> no promises. <laughs> A uh, busy artist, what can I say? I enjoy working with my hands. My manicures do not last. Most of the time, my paint is my manicures, my nail polish. <laughs> okay, so that guy's cut out. Now what I'm going to do, let's see, I just want to place it wherever you think. Now's the time to place them down to figure out where you want to put it. Um, because you don't, you can't do that when it's wet. You really don't have a lot of time to work with it when it's wet. You need to do it when it's dry and still has the paper backing and everything. So you have time to play around, see what you want where, see if the size is right and all that good stuff. All right, so, I don't know. I'm, hmm, I'm thinking. Oh, what do you guys think? I'm thinking like this. Does that look good? I think I'm going to do that. Not that you can answer me. <laughs> I guess you could in the comments, but that's too late because I've already done it. It's kind of neat down here too, but I think he'll show up better up here. Um, I'm just not sure which way I want to put him. I want to go this way or this way. I think I'm going to go this way. Yeah. All right. I've made up my mind. So we're going to take this again. Put um, your decal in your tweezers. Just dip it in the water. You want to make it all under the water. Make sure it's totally completed, completely uh, wet. For about eight seconds, roughly. Shake off the excess. I'm just going to put a little bit up here. And then we slide this off. If it does not slide off easily, you need to soak it just maybe a second or two longer. Okie dokie. 
This one's coming off nicely. Then you just slide it off like that. And then place them wherever you want to put it. It is so thin and fragile though. You really do have to be careful. It's okay if you have extras, but if you only have one, you're gonna be disappointed if it tears or something. So just uh, warning you, just be gentle. Okay. Well, this butterfly has these little antennas at the top here that are very, very, very delicate. I'm using my finger now. I don't want the tweezers to to tear it or anything, but I got this part. I got to straighten out a little bit. Oop, there we go. They can tend to fold on you. It folds under itself or over itself. Okay, that looks pretty good. There we go. Then take your paper towel as before and just blot it. And we're done. I have some pieces that are resined already. However, they're not in the room with me. They're all the way downstairs. So at this time, I'm not going to show them. Okay, so let me turn this around. I show you what we got here. I'm thinking I'm done with these two. Um, sometimes I go back to it the next day and look at it and go, oh, I'd like to add this and or that, you know, and I'll, I'll add more to it or, or I'll leave it alone if I like it just the way it is. But I am famous for going back to things and adding to them. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Are these cute or what? Do you like these? Like I said, I've been making these for a long time and I really like them. And um, if you're interested in them, just give me a message or reach out to me. But, um, well, let me zoom in here, show you. Like I said, these aren't completed yet. They do have to dry now. I'm just gonna leave them till tomorrow and then give them a good resin, nice coat or two of resin. And um, they're gonna look amazing. So let me know what you think down in the comments section. I appreciate your feedback. Like I said, if you could hit the thumbs up button, show me if you liked the video or not. If you have not subscribed already, please do so. I appreciate that. It's just a free, easy way that you can take a moment to show your support for me. And I do appreciate you taking just a moment out of your day to do that for me. It's much appreciated. So that's it for today. I thank you so much for joining me and hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you on the next video. Take care. Bye.